Hey guys, this is Javin with AudioMediaProductionService.com. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick tutorial on the config slash preamp section of the Midas M32. Um, keep in mind, it's just like the Behringer X32, so you can look at tutorial videos on the Behringer, and it is the same as the Midas. On start, there's a view button up by this section. We can go ahead and hit that. Uh, we have low cut, and high pass frequency roll off switch, uh, polarity reverse switch, phantom power and your gain for that selected channel that you want to select. Keep in mind, on every digital console, you do have to hit select on the channel that you want to work on. And then the whole fat channel section will change to that accordingly to the channel that you got selected or the output. Um, so the parameters on the screen in this section, um, it does kind of just mirror image some of the parameters up on the fat channel. Um, with a few exceptions. So we do have your meters, we have uh, your gain, and uh, you can link two channels together in odd even increments. So this is a button encoder that you would do to link two channels. Um, next to that we have the high pass filter where you can choose the frequency. Um, we have the source. The source is where you can uh, go ahead and assign any of your inputs to that fader bank or that particular fader. So you could do a mirror image on the console or if you wanted five kick drums from the same mic but you wanted five faders showing that kick drum. I don't know why you'd want to do that but you never know you could. Maybe you'd want two. One for the attack and the beater and then one for the low end. But you only had one kick drum mic, one mic plugged in for that kick drum, you can assign both faders um, to have input one. And you can do that uh, right here on underneath the config slash preamp section. Um, we do have a delay, so you can time align mics. So say you had uh, an overhead mic and a snare drum mic, but you wanted to time align the snare with the overhead, you could do it from here. You'd have to engage the encoder to do it. Um, we have a pre-post <coughs> section for uh, insert position for your dynamics and things like that. And then, of course, you can uh, insert effects onto that particular channel. So this is where you would do it. Say you, uh, you had an, in your effects section, if you had an insert s effect selected in there, but not a side chain effect, you have to go to the config slash preamp section, select the channel you want to insert that. Um, effect on and then you would do it from here, connect it, go ahead and choose which one you want, want in there and connect it. So that does it for the config slash preamp section of the Midas M32. Um, if you like the videos I'm doing, please subscribe, like, comment, share, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. And if you're interested in buying this console, please uh, visit my website at audiomediaproductionservice.com. Um, you can go ahead and find this console on my site. It will take you to Amazon. I am an affiliate for Amazon. I do get a small commission if you buy through my link. It doesn't cost you extra to do that. And then it also helps, you know, helps me uh, buy more gear to make uh, much more tutorial videos for you guys. So all your support is much appreciated. Um, thanks, and I'll talk to you later.